All right. So, last time what happened was you were led to the mansion by, um, oh dear god. Fuck. I don't have my notes open. <laughs> by a lady. A nice lady. A very nice lady. With a very bad book. Um, mm -hmm. you wander around downstairs, you found a skull, a, um, skull with a strange marking on it. Uh, after finding the skull, you went up the stairs nearest to you, uh, avoiding the other rooms, and going straight up, where you found a wind trap, uh, pretty much right in the hallway that, uh, Mika and Luna are currently in. Uh, after fighting with the uh, buffets of wind for a while, uh, a few got past. You walked into this room, which had a trap at the uh, chest there that shrunk you guys. You fought some centipedes. Uh, Teague went over to investigate the nasty ass bathroom and found a violent toad. <laughs> After leaving the room, you found that you were able to grow back to your normal sizes, and uh, after struggling against the wind, the group collected a bit more and went to investigate the library that Arwen Astrid is currently inside. So, y'all were in the library, which I'm going to describe again. Mm -hmm. Shelves containing hundreds of books line the walls of this 20 by 30 library. A large oak desk dominates the middle of the room. The legs of the desk are carved to resemble coiled dragons. Behind it is a chair of similar design. In one corner of this library stands an assembled suit of plate mail armor, clutching a sword. On the desk is a leather-bound volume and what looks to be an iron candelabra fashioned to resemble a hydra with nine heads. Ah. Uh, Arwen had charged in and is currently uh, investigating the suit of armor, just kind of looking around and touching it lightly. Alright, I'm gonna go in and... It's on this table, right? The book? Uh, yes. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna go in and look at the book. Mm. Okay. Um, what language is it in? It's leather bound. It you can see that it's written in common, but uh, it kind of seems like a very mundane spell book. Uh, it doesn't mm. seem to radiate any of the power that the book that Freya was handling does. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna flip through it and see if there's anything anything interesting in there. Okay. All right, is anybody else doing anything? Um, I'd like to try to get up the hallway. Okay. Since I'm behind the wind trap still. Sure. I'm going to cautiously stand in the doorway seeing as I'm still a little injured from our my last encounter with the death toad. Okay. <laughs> All right, so make a dexterity saving throw, Luna, as the wind continues to push. Hi, okay, so that is roll what? Uh, a 1d20. Plus my mm -hmm. Yay! Yes. Okay. So you uh, easily move past and you can get to the hall. Uh, Freya is nervously following after Amelia. make ungodly sounds. Alaya was the one with the book, right? Uh, Freya oh, was... No, mm -hmm. Yep. Alaya was her, uh, cousin. Alaya is going to fail miserably. <laughs> is that her way back there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Cool. Something. Uh, Luna, as you pass to the hallway, you hear a very deep-throated chuckling 
uh, but you can't seem to detect where the sound comes from. It seems to fill your senses for a moment. Okay, I just kind of pause there and listen. The chuckling stops. Okay. So I turn to Freya and ask her, do you know whose spells these are? Um, if I were to guess, they would be, uh, they would be Gildarion's. Uh, he was very fascinated with both mundane and particularly powerful spells. Uh, he wanted to master absolutely everything he could lay his hands on. And was this his chamber? Mm. His library? Ah, mm. uh, yes. His personal library. She's, uh, kind of looking over the area wide-eyed. Uh, you kind of get the idea that she hasn't really been here much. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. I'm gonna, um... Ah, mm. how do I do this? Turn around and look at the other books. Okay. Uh, if you grab, you can actually find, like, a little oh, tail yeah. box. Yeah. I see, I got a tail. Okay. Uh, as you turn around, you hear, uh, Freya pipe up. Now, be careful with that! Astrid just turns over. Sorry. <laughs> gonna look on the table over here, see if I can find anything inter interesting. Yes, he's gonna go in and look at the dragon-carved chair and be very enamored with it. All right. Until I figure out what she's actually going to do. <laughs> cool. I gotta grab a tissue. I'll be right back. You guys honestly think this is what dragons truly look like? Is this what I truly look like? It seems so much braver in person. <laughs> um. Well, I mean, you are different from a full dragon. You're more of a. Uh, a human dragon mix, I suppose. I haven't really studied your kind very much. Oddly enough, neither have I. <laughs> <laughs> they just tell me a lot at, you know, the temple about Bahamut and stuff, so I just listen and do my duty. <laughs> I was told that the only book I need is the good book. <laughs> well, I can think of several other better books than that. Frey is just kind of smiling and looking at the floor. <laughs> I'd like to um, kind of wander over here and just peek in and watch everyone. Okay. As you guys are doing this, Alaya makes it up to the hallway. Uh, she just turns to Luna. Uh, hello. Hi again! How are you, darling? Terrible. <laughs> Me too. Okay, good. Are you hearing things? <laughs> I'm hearing things. Oh, yeah. I heard a, a, a laugh. <sighs> Twinsies! Awesome! Me too. Um, does this happen often? Yes? No? No. Not at all. She's okay. uh, seeming shaky and kind of like holding her own form and rocking a little bit. I just pat her gently and tell her, it'll be okay, don't worry, we got you. Mm. Alright. Uh, Astrid is going to wander and continually looking at the books, but uh, doesn't seem to find anything interesting. Uh, Ada, you feel a hand on your back, just as if it has outstretched claws. It's not damaging you, but you feel a scratch that seems to go clear mm. through your armor and clothing, and then it disappears. I... All right. <gasps> I whip around. <laughs> what was that? I felt something on my back, like a claw. Oh, uh, Ada, I do believe this is called a chair. It has dragons on it. They're quite beautiful dragons. Um, yes, oh, were you referring to something Nessie. else? Yes, I was referring to something else. No one saw anything, did they? Um, I, I was looking at you. Nothing touched you. Um, do you have a... Uh, how to put this lightly? A history of feeling things? Of course not. <laughs> Nothing that's actually... 
isn't there. Okay. Understood. She looks at the ground again.